All right, we got our breakfast, we got our coffee. We're heading towards Tennessee. And we just crossed the state line from Texas to Arkansas. We stayed in Arkansas, but Texarkana is actually a city that is both in Texas and in Arkansas. So we had to jump back on the highway, go a mile and a half back into Texas, and we grabbed breakfast at the Cracker Barrel there, and now we're heading to uh, eastward again towards Tennessee. So we'll keep you posted. We'll see what we find. Uh, as you saw in the clip, it's a little overcast. There is rain in the forecast for today. There's a storm up in this area. Uh, looks like Memphis might be rainy when we get in. We will see and we will show. See you soon. And those raindrops falling on the windshield. So, we're getting rain. But, look how nice trees look on this road. This is I-30 going through Arkansas. We're going up to I from I-30 east up to 40 east through Little Rock into Memphis. And uh, yeah, roads are nice. It's not always nice to see this much green and some of it, if you can tell, is changing color because we're in fall and uh, hopefully it's just this light rain and we don't get any heavy rain. Light rain's not bad because we can maintain our speed it's heavy rain it becomes a pain in the butt it just slows us down a bit just got to be careful but one of our PCA members told us once at a meet or not us but the group the Porsches are built in Germany and it rains a lot in Germany so don't be afraid to get your Porsche wet there you go we are finally driving into Memphis you can see ahead off to the left is the huge pyramid that is what people say the coolest Bass Pro Shop. We're gonna go there later. This is the bridge over the Mississippi River and uh, we're about an hour behind schedule due to a gridlock literally stop traffic on Highway 40 uh, somewhere in the middle of Arkansas. There was a bad accident. We didn't get to see it but hopefully everybody's okay. But we'll take you along we're a little late, but we'll still be able to get some stuff in that we wanted to. We're going to go to the top of that pyramid. That's just one thing we're doing today. All right, we made it. We're walking to Sun Studio, and we found Edge Motors, uh, Motor Museum. So we're going to take you around. More cool cars. Here we go. So, Edge Motor Museum concentrates on the history of the American sports car. And they already have some really cool cars in the front. As you can see, we're going to go around the whole museum and we'll check out what they got.
Hey, where are we going? Sun City. No, Sun Studios. Oh, Sun Studios. It's Big Guitar, Sun Studios. If you don't know what that is and you like music, and probably don't really like music. Sun Studio, known as one of the first studios, birth of rock and roll type of place. We're going in. I'm not going to film in there. You're going to have to go in yourself and check it out. Sun Studios is awesome. If you like any type of rock and roll, that place is awesome. And it's a definitely must do if you go here. It's $15 a person. You're not allowed to record anyway, so that's why I didn't record. But you should definitely check it out. It's very, very, very cool. And we beat the rain. Well, it's going to rain, but we beat walking in the rain. Uh, the museum was awesome as well for the cars, Edge Motors. That was neat. But now we're coming up on, and you probably saw to the corner of the camera, we're coming up on Bass Pro Shops, but not just any Bass Pro Shops. We're coming up on Bass Pro Shop at the Pyramid. This is the big Bass Pro Shop built in the Pyramid. We're going to go to the viewing. I know it's not car related, but man, it's pretty cool. Check it out. That's a Pyramid. It's awesome. Yep, that's a gator. There's a gator in a Bass Pro Shop. That's the elevator up to the observation deck. And because there's a storm coming in, we're not allowed to go up. They literally just closed it. We missed it by a little bit. But all this around up there, all the way around on the second, that's all, that's all hotel rooms. You can stay at this one. It's pretty cool. This place is just awesome. You even got boats docked on it. And there's a duck. Give you perspective of how big this place is. Alright, we're making our way out. We're going to go find some good Memphis barbecue. Try to beat this storm. And we'll come back. It'll be tomorrow morning. We are in Graceland right there. Why? Because you have to go to Graceland if you go to Memphis. I don't know if they're going to let me film inside. If they are, you get some. If not, we'll get some other stuff later. After today, we're heading towards Nashville. That's what he paid for it. You know what $20,000 was back then? That's a lot of money. We are all done with Graceland. We were here about two hours. It's really great. I was able to get some videos of some of Elvis's cars. Every cool person has cool cars. We'll see you at the next stop. All right. We are headed out of Memphis towards Nashville on I-40. As you see, we are about three and a half-ish hours from Nashville. We're gonna stop, grab some lunch, get some gas, continue down the road. The weather's beautiful today. I think the high is gonna be 70. The humidity's gone. This morning was 53 degrees when we left the hotel in the morning. Um, Graceland was a lot of fun. Even if you're not an Elvis fan, you should go if you're in Memphis. Totally worth it. Very, very good. Uh, we were there for about two hours. And uh, yeah, so we are headed to Cooters. You'll see what.
what that is. And the Opryland Resort and Gardens tonight. And we might cruise over to downtown Nashville if we're not beat because we are a little tired. And But uh, tonight would be the night to do it because we got a busy day tomorrow in Nashville. So next video will be us in Nashville. Be safe, y'all. God bless.